and welcome once again to the Tinker's Workshop. Today I'm, uh, I'm pleased to show you another great project that I've been working on that came together very quickly and it'll be a great tool to use in putting together video presentations like this one. One of the uh, biggest problems I have uh, found in making a video like this is being able to talk about a new project uh, without messing up. <laughs> what I have to say and having to uh, start the video over and over again until I'm, I'm uh, happy with the end result. When the President of the United States gives a speech, he doesn't uh, just ad-lib what he has to say, but rather he uses a video teleprompter to get his talk right the first time out. This piece of equipment is, uh, is I found, is very expensive to own, but uh, with some effort and the use of my MakerBot 3D printer, I've come up with a great little teleprompter that is simple in design and is very inexpensive to, uh, to make. All good things with a project like this. The teleprompter uses the iPad as its main display source and it's designed around that in mind. Two main supports are the first pieces that need to be uh, 3D printed for the iPad teleprompter. Added to the supports are the two video camera platform supports. They're held together using three quarter inch uh, long 10-24 machine screws and nuts. And next, the platform for the video camera is mounted to the supports using the same hardware as before. The tripod mount com uh, comes next and is attached to the two main supports. This component has a quick release mount designed into the bottom of the part for easy on and off mounting to a SEMA quick connect adapter. The next two sub-assemblies are the hinges for the polycarbonate reflective glass or plexiglass. The hinges allow the reflective glass to be folded down for easy storage uh, when not in use. And the polycarbonate glass is mounted to the upper portion of the hinges using one, uh, one inch 10-24 machine screws and nuts. When in use, the screen is positioned at a 45 degree angle and when it's in uh, storage mode, it's moved uh, into a horizontal position by, by loosening the wing nuts on the hinges uh, to make the teleprompter more compact. Lastly, the iPad and the video camera are added to the assembly to complete the teleprompter and get it ready for use. The iPad has a teleprompter app that reverses the display so that the words are scrolled from bottom to top and can be read uh, right side up in the display glass. Um, to see the text easily, the, a black cloth is placed over the back of the display glass of the video camera. This uh, blacks out the back of the display screen in the camera and makes it easier to read the display. The person giving the talk will also be looking directly as, at the camera as I'm doing right now. The video camera does not see the text scrolling on the screen and so the video looks uh, a bit more natural. Uh, the teleprompter that you see here uh, took 15 hours to make using a MakerBot 3D printer and all of the other components for the teleprompter I bought at a local hardware store including the uh, polycarbonate glass which is nothing more than plexiglass and it's used for display. If you'd like to make your own teleprompter and you have access to a 3D printer that can make parts at least 8 inches long, I have a complete set of files uh, available for this project for sale on my blog site for only $5. The entire project will cost less than $30 to make, which is a, a steal when it comes to having a teleprompter. For more information about this and other great projects, go to the Project Plans and 3D Printer STL Files page of my blog, tinkersworkshop.blogspot.com. 